up and say how be ya Gee, but I'm glad to see ya, pal, how's tricks? What's new? Love thy neighbor And you will find your labor A great deal easier Life will be breezier If you love thy neighbor Oh. Hello? <clears throat> Do I sound like Mrs. Booth? <laughs> oh, oh, it's Mrs. Booth calling from London. Yes, put it on. <laughs> Hello, Joan Love. How did you not get on? <laughs> <laughs> no, dear, no, of course I'm missing you. Now, how did you not get on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, what's the weather like? Pardon? Oh, oh, it's hissing down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's very sunny here. Very lovely, yeah. Uh, by the way, dear, I've got some very nice digs. Yeah, lovely people. Name of Smith. No, dear, no, no. No, I shouldn't think they're any relation to your cousin's sister's husband's ex-girlfriend's mother-in-law. <laughs> Still nice people. There's only one thing wrong, love. My neighbour is a typical big-headed Australian. <laughs> What do you mean I should get on with them very well? <laughs> yeah, well, I tell you what, dear. This phone call must be costing you a fortune. Pardon? I'm paying. <laughs> I'll send you a letter, love. Ta-da, up the reds. <laughs> She's a lovely girl. How <laughs> <laughs> well, long have you two been there? Long enough. Typical big-headed Australian, eh? Well, 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 none of us is perfect. Come outside. What for? I'm going to knock you from here to Melbourne. He didn't mean what he said. Too bad, because I do. Don't <laughs> get so touchy. Blimey, you're worse than a nignog. <laughs> you know, in England, we insult each other all the time. Well, we're not in England. The outside, Bobby. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, yes, typical day. Mob violence. You haven't come far from Botany Bay. Right, <laughs> get, off, get off, get off, you big wombat. Get off. Hang on, Jim. Look, he's only just come out here. Give him time to settle down, to get used to our way of life. Well, maybe you're right. I'll give him a couple of days to get acclimatised to things. Then I'll knock his head in. <laughs> he doesn't like you. Ah, uh, he's all talk. What was that? I said I'm going for a walk. <laughs> so bloody touchy, these people. You want to be careful, a Jimmy can turn pretty nasty sometimes. He's not doing too bad now. Oh, it's funny, I thought I heard Jim's voice. But I'm not surprised. You could hear him in bloody Ballarat. <laughs> Take these in the kitchen, Bernard. Sure, love. Oh. Do you want to go out in the garden for a bit? <laughs> Sit out in the garden for a while. No, no, love, no, no. It's far too dangerous out there. Dangerous? Yes, I could get bitten on the funnel by a finger-web spider. Funnel-web. <laughs> <laughs> One of those as well. No, dear, no, I'm quite happy to just sit here. OK. Do you have any dangerous spiders in England? No, not likely. No, no, no. We have a few beetles, you know. Oh. oh, it's been hard today. There's no answer to that. <laughs> so, Bernard, would you like a little drink? Yes, I would. No, he wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'll just have a small one. Eddie's just been telling me about the beetles in England. Oh. Are you hungry? Yes, I am a bit, love. What do you fancy? Are we still talking about food? <laughs> what did he mean? <laughs> don't worry. It was a joke. No, no, I don't mind what we eat at all. So long as it's not any of that West Indian rubbish. Mangoes, yams and bloody pawpaws. Hey, would you like to try some good old Aussie food? That's a good idea. What have you got, dear? Well, you can have a choice. Um, grilled kangaroo, stewed snake or tinned witchetty grub. <laughs> You haven't got any pawpaws, have you? <laughs> We're having steak, beans and jagged potatoes. Yeah. Hey, and just so you don't feel a nana, I've invited one of my girlfriends. Oh, that'll be nice. Her name's Sally. She's a real sporty type. I'm very fond of sporty types. <laughs> they don't do it anymore. <laughs> Pardon? The Beatles. They broke up. John and Yoko went off to New York. It's a pity you didn't go with them. <laughs> He's in a world of his own, this lad, isn't he? Oh, that'll be Sally. Bernard, tell me, what's she like, this Sally? 
Oh, you'll like her. She's a real beaut, Sheila. I thought you said her name was Sally. It is, but Sally's a Sheila. I'm sorry I asked now. I can't Come in, sir. This is Eddie. Ah, oh, get out, Eddie. Glad to meet you. Likewise. You're a bit out of condition. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. If it's all the same with you, I'd rather keep it. Oh, you ought to do some exercise. Did you do any jogging? Only in bed. <laughs> I like you. You're cute. Come on, Sal, you can help me get the dinner ready. Right, I love. See you later, Eddie. Sally's a real outdoor type. What is she? Middleweight champion of New South Wales? <laughs> hey, do you want to watch a bit of telly? Why not, son? What's on? Oh, Doctor Who, Steptoe, George and Mildred, Kojak, and Mind Your Language. Blimey, might as well be back in England. Why don't we just go for a drink? Mm, Joyce doesn't like me going out drinking. Look, son, let me give you a bit of advice from an old married man. You mustn't let your wife get the upper hand. If you want to go out for a drink, you go out for a drink. She'd throw a fit. Let her throw what she likes. There's two ways of dealing with women. One, be masterful. Put your foot down. Show her who's boss. What's the other way? Lie. Lie. <laughs> <laughs> Now's your chance to learn. It's easy. Women are very gullible. Joyce, love. Hang on! What am I going to tell her? Look, use your imagination. The old grey matter. Your powers of intelligence. What do you want? Uh, Bernard would like a word with you, dear. Well, I haven't got all day, Bernard. Uh, well, uh, that is, uh, to put it another way, uh, Eddie's got something to say to you. <laughs> Captain Courageous. What do you want, Eddie? Uh, it's just that Bernard would like to take me for a little walk, dear. What do you think he is, a cocker spaniel? <laughs> No, dear. He'd just like to uh, take me around the neighbourhood, introduce me to a bit of local colour. There's a black and white poodle next door. Perhaps you'd like to meet him. <laughs> oh, don't forget, dinner will be ready in an hour. Don't worry, love. We'll be back before you even know we've gone. Was that masterful enough? Fantastic. You know, you put me in mind of Gary Cooper in High Noon. What happened to him? Grace Kelly left him on his wedding day. <laughs> Well, Eddie, this is our club. Ah, oh, yes. They're very nice when they do it up. <laughs> what are you drinking, Bernard? Tomato juice, thanks. Say it again. Tomato juice? That's what I thought you said. I don't drink a lot, really. Bloody Nora, you're going to be a bundle of fun. <laughs> Will the service be square? I'll go and get us a table. Yeah, it's a good idea. Say, barman. Good day. You want something, Bruce? <laughs> the name's Eddie, and I'd like a beer. You want a pony, a midi, or a schooner? If it's all the same with you, I'd rather have a beer. <laughs> They're the measures. That's a pony. Anybody who drinks beer out of a glass like that must be a puff. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> Cheers. The present company accepted. I'll just have a pint, please. What sort? Oh, uh, a two is for me and a... Uh, a tomato juice for Spider-Man. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, put a vodka in the tomato juice. <laughs> I'm Eddie Booth from Manchester. I'm English. Go on. I'd have never guessed you were a pom. Oh, well, there's a lot of us about. Yeah, too bloody many. <laughs> you know the difference between the Yanks and the Aussies? No. Well, the Yanks got all the black slaves. And we got all the white pommies. <laughs> well, you should be grateful. You know why we got the poms? Go on, educate me. Because the Yanks got first choice. <laughs> Am I supposed to laugh? Please yourself. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something, clever clocks. Do you know that the average Englishman has an IQ of 140? So what? Well, you tell me what has got an IQ of 200. Surprise me. 200 Australians. <laughs> 200 Australians. $1.50. <clears throat> yeah. And a donkey for yourself. A pony. All right, a pony. I'll have a schooner. 
You can have a bloody yacht if you like, but I'm not paying. <laughs> Come on, cough up. Oh, all right, all right. Give him a drink, will you? You don't wait to be asked, do you? No, not when somebody else is buying. Uh, hey, uh, Jim. Thank you, Cyril. Cyril? <laughs> Cyril? Cheers, Pommy. <clears throat> Cheers, Cyril. <laughs> He's on a sponsored walk, that fellow. Yeah, Bernard. Get that down here, son. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Is it all right? Tastes different, but I like it. Good. I take it that was your wife on the phone this evening. Yes, that was my Joan. Are you married? No. Oh. Have you got a girlfriend? No. No, I'm right off, women. <laughs> You're, uh, you're not one of them, are you? <laughs> I'm divorced. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not. Eighteen years I was married. Eighteen years of nagging, arguing and abuse. Oh, dear, she sounds terrible. No, that was me. <laughs> what about you, Bernard? Yes, please. Pardon? Same again. <laughs> He's like a bloody gannet. <laughs> what do you think of Eddie, sir? Oh, he seems OK. You know, it's not true what they say about the Poms. Eddie's had two baths already. <laughs> <laughs> they've been gone a long time. Oh, they'll be back any minute. Maybe they're gone for a drink. Mm, not Bernard. He wouldn't dare. Shall we have another? I thought you were anxious to get back. No, it's my shout. And if I want another, I will have another. Well said, Bernard. Very masterful. Thanks, Eddie. Can you lend me five bucks? <laughs> Here, get hold of that. Ta. Same again, Cyril. <laughs> Snow White. <laughs> then Paul McCartney went to Scotland. <laughs> Get that down you. Cheers. Cheers. Well, there you are, fellas. Who orders those? You did. Oh. oh, excuse me. Where are you going? The Dunny. <laughs> What's he talking about? He's gone to shake hands with the unemployed. <laughs> Why can't you say so? Why can't you speak proper English, like what we do? Because we're Australian. Bloody colonials. Now, don't start that again. It's a great country to be born in. Yes. Well, I hope I don't bloody die here. <laughs> that can be arranged. Look, we've all got to go one day. Very true. Hello, he's back again. How do you feel, son? I've just thrown a seven. <laughs> Pardon? He, he means he's been sick. Have another drink, make you feel better. Oh. <laughs> we was just talking about diet. What colour? <laughs> Not that sort of dying. Snuffing it. Well, I think I'm going to snuff it. Oh, shut up and get your drink down. It'll be all right. I wonder where you go when you die. Nobody knows. Because none of us have ever been. And nobody has ever come back. Nobody's ever come back. Well, that's where you're both wrong, because my friend Tommy came back. Ah, <laughs> oh, pull the other one! It's true. What happened? Well, I'll tell you if you listen. See, I was walking past his house one evening when I noticed there was eight bottles on his doorstep. Bottles of milk? No, Guinness. He always had two for his breakfast. Anyway, I climbed in through the back window, and there was Tommy lying on the floor as stiff as a poker. Must have been a shock. It was, it was. Anyway, I sent for old Dr. Parker. When he came, he took one look at Tommy and he sent for the undertaker. <laughs> oh, they did him up beautifully. Do you know, I've never seen Tommy look so well lying there in his coffin in the best room. You mean the front parlour? No, the back room at the Lion and Lamp. <laughs> you had the coffin in a pub? Well, why not? He spent more time there than he did at home. <laughs> anyway, there that the miracle happened. Charlie Cunliffe 
shouted out, It's my turn, what you're all having? And Tommy sat up in his coffin and said, I'll have a pint. Oh, that's a bit far-fetched. It's true, I was there, I saw it happen. Yeah, well, he, he couldn't have been dead in the first place. Old Dr Parker said he was. Mind you, I will admit, he could have been drunk. You mean Tommy? No, old Dr Parker. <laughs> Listen, listen, I didn't come down in the last shower, and neither did he. You can scoff, but Tommy would bear me out if he were here. God rest his soul. <laughs> what do you mean, God rest his soul? You said he come back to life. He did. But when we found out he was still alive, we were all so chuffed we got roaring drunk. And Tommy was knocked down on his way home by the herd. <laughs> he didn't come back again? No, no, this time he'd definitely gone. Speaking of God, I think it's time we all went. It's early yet. No, look, it, it, it's nearly half past eleven. I'll see you blokes tomorrow. Mm. Not if I see you first. <laughs> oh. What's the matter with you, son? You're not about to throw another seven, are you? We should have been back hours ago. What's Joyce going to say? Well, if there's anything like my Jones, she'll say, look at the state you're in, what time do you call this, and I'm going home to Mother. This will be our first quarrel. Ah, uh, never mind, Bernard. Think of the fun you'll have making it up. We better go. Sit down. There's no point in going home now. There's no point in shutting the stable door after you've spilt the milk. <laughs> if you go home now, Joyce will go raving mad. But if you wait a while, we can sneak back and creep in. That way you won't get in half as much aggro tomorrow morning. Are you sure? Definitely. Same again, Cyril. Uh, uh, uh. Timey kangaroo dance spot. Timey kangaroo dance. Timey kangaroo dance spot. I am kangaroo dance. Cha cha cha. Can I tell? Shush. We're nearly home. Oh, no. Don't want to wake her up. Oh no, don't want to wake her up. No. They'll have a headache in the morning. They'll have a headache tonight when I'm finished with them. Oh, Bernard. Is this the house? I think so. Yes. Have you got your key? Uh. Oh. Oh. I'll oh see you never mind, never mind. We'll go around the back. All right. Hey, look! They got next door! <laughs> <laughs> Don't wake her up! No way. Don't wake her up! Stop saying that. I'm like a bloody minder bird. Come oh. Call me Thumb and Jewels on the top. <laughs> Careful, do you have a mischief? <laughs> Come in, Bernard. Where's he gone? But he stay out, Bernard. <laughs> How the hell did you get in here? <laughs> Going into the bed. Uh,
you? What are you doing here? I do, Nora. You are one of those. <laughs> Never again. Serves you right. How do you feel? How do I look? Terrible. That's how I feel. Where's Eddie? Still in bed in the state he was in last night. I don't think we'll be seeing him today. Morning all. <laughs> Why haven't you got a hangover? Ah, well you see, Bernard, you only get a hangover when you're sober. Well? I think I'm still drunk from last night. <laughs> What do you two children want for breakfast? Uh, what have you got, love? Shriveled steak, burnt beans, and squashed spuds. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello, he's off again. <laughs> he's going to the dunny. Are you ready for your breakfast? Uh, yeah, but I'll just dip down and get a newspaper first, dear. Well, don't be long. Take Bernard's car. Oh, uh, won't he be needing it? He won't be going anywhere today. Yeah. yeah. Well, 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 if it isn't Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Nicker. Hey, you sure you can drive that thing? Of course I can. Compare with me, you're Jack Brabham's an amateur. What's the matter now? What's the matter now? Look at me car! Belt up. I only touched it. Yeah, what? I'll have a look at it when I come back. Well... You shouldn't have parked it there in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, car! What happened? Love thy name. 